So we're going to start with um, some PCS coding. We're just going to do some simple ones here. And we're going to use this um, intensive procedure worksheet that we, that we have. And the first thing that we're going to do is on page 124 of your textbook, it's number three, diagnostic excision of liver and pancreas. So what is the first thing that we need to, let's zoom this in a little bit for you. What's the first thing that we need to decide? What is the intent of the procedure? When we're talking about ICD-9 coding, we're talking about what is the name of the procedure that we're doing. So the name of our procedure is diagnostic excision of liver and pancreas. When we're talking about ICD-10 coding, what we're talking about is what is the intent? What do we intend to do while we're there? So in layman's terms, I don't want you to think about this yet in your root operations. All right, I want you to just think about it in the simplest of terms. What were we planning on doing? And a diagnostic excision of the liver and the pancreas. So what is that exactly? That's a biopsy, isn't it? Diagnostic excision. So we're doing a biopsy of the liver and pancreas. Okay, this is just going to help you kind of keep organized this little worksheet. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we've got to figure out our root operation. All right, so what I want you to do is I want you to get out your um, uh, your flip bits. Um, anybody can get these from the um, Hagen Academy. Um, they're a fantastic little. Um, uh, uh, tool, all right? So what we're going to do is we know that our intent is a biopsy of a liver and a pancreas. So what do we do when we do a biopsy? We're actually taking out part of it, aren't we? We're taking out part of a body part to test it. So let's go down here and see what fits. Take out some or all of a body part. Does that fit? We are taking out some or all of a body part. So let's go ahead and flip that up. And here we have the root operations that fit into that grouping. All right. And that grouping eh, might be a little bit, let's see if we can turn that off. Maybe that'll help the light. That helps. There we go. Um, that, that grouping contains these root operations. So now what we need to do is read through the definitions of each of these root operations and make certain that our procedure, the intent of our procedure, fits that definition perfectly to a T. Can't partially fit it, can't sort of fit it, it has to fit it. So we're going to start looking. So excision, cutting out or off without replacement a portion of a body part as defined by PCS values. Well, are we cutting out or off something? Yes, we are. We're cutting out or off a piece of the liver and a piece of the pancreas, right? Right? Okay. So that fits. Without replacement, are we replacing what we're cutting out? No, we're not. Is it a portion of a body part? Yes, it is. That PCS defines? Yes, the liver is a body part and the pancreas is a body part. Now the nice thing that you have here that they do for you with this particular um, tool, and again, you can purchase these through the, the um, Hagen Academy or Hagen Academy, um, ICD-10 training, they do sell them. Um, breast biopsy and wedge resection of the lung. They give you examples. So there's our example, breast biopsy, wedge resection of the lung. If you look over here, <clears throat> that still sort of sounds like it fits. If you look over here, some of these have little dog tags. That means that there's a little bit more information. So we have a dog tag next to excision. So if we go up to the top card, it gives us that information. Biopsies are tissue samples set for pathologic diagnosis. Biopsies are coded to the root operation excision with the qualifier or seventh character of X for diagnostic. 
If a biopsy is performed followed by a removal of the entire body part, two codes are assigned, excision for the biopsy and resection for removing the entire body part. Okay? So that pretty much just told us right there that we're right, excision. So our root operation is excision. Now we have to figure out what our major body system is. So let's look at our list of body systems. Okay. There we go. What do we think fits there? Central nervous system, heart and vessels, lymphatic. Look at that. Hepatobiliary and pancreas. Isn't that what we're doing? Hepato, liver, and pancreas. So it's going to be the value of F. So we're just kind of moving along, just kind of organizing our thoughts. All right, now we need to know what our minor body parts are. So what are our minor body parts? Well, we do know that typically the liver is divided into lobes, right? Liver is in lobes. And typically with ICD-10, each lobe is considered its own body part. But in our example, diagnostic excision of liver and pancreas, we don't know what lobe they use. So we're going to have to just be in, it's going to be in general. So our minor body part, we have two. We have one, the liver, and two, the pancreas, because they're two separate organs, right? Okay. Now, what's our approach here? What is our approach? Diagnostic excision of pancreas and, uh, of, uh, and liver. So let's get our approach tree, our decision approach tree here. Okay, we'll zoom on that a little bit for you. Now, what we don't know here is much. We just really don't know much, do we? So we have, starting here, it says start, we have incision. Well, it was excisional. It doesn't say that it was using a, a scope of any kind. It doesn't say that it was percutaneous. It says that we actually did an excision. Therefore, we had to have had an incision, and it is open. So if we follow to that, that tells us open. That's pretty simple, isn't it? Our approach is open. All right. When we do a biopsy. Did it mention anything? When we did this biopsy, did it say anything about a device? No. So what is our default? Z. And as far as a qualifier, well, we don't know yet. We'll know more when we get to the table. But this has helped us to kind of organize our thoughts, hasn't it? Now, think back to your, your uh, multiple procedures guideline. If you have the same procedure performed on two definitive body parts, you must code each of them separately. Two or more, you must code each of them separately. So how many codes do we know we're gonna have right now? We know we're gonna have two. We're gonna have one for the liver and one for the pancreas. Okay, all right? So let's grab our code book, okay? So what do we look up by when we are looking up in our code book? We look up by root operation. So we know that our root operation is excision. So let's go ahead, we'll zoom out a little bit here, and let's go to excision. Okay. So here we are at excision, okay? Once we get to, here's excision. Once we get to our root operation, the correct root operation, then we're going to look by body part. 
and our body part we determined we had two. We had the liver and we had the pancreas. So let's look for the liver first. So just go ahead, follow down, and look for the liver. All right, here we go, liver. Okay. Do you see that where it says liver? Let me shade that a little bit for you. So it's telling us, and again, left lobe, right lobe, but we don't have a lobe. So we're gonna go to our default code, which is zero F B zero. So let's write that down here. Zero F B zero, okay? Now the other thing that you could do is go ahead and look up the pancreas, okay? And the pancreas is way down here. Okay, here's pancreas, and it says 0FBG. So let's write that down 0FBG. Okay, so now let's look at our tables. So we want to go to 0F. Zero F B Okay. And you always want to make sure that you um, check the table before. Here's our table right here. Here's our table. But you always want to make sure that you check the table before and the table after to make sure that there's no continuation. So this is drainage. We know that that's not what we want. And this is extirpation. So we know that this is all there is to choose from here, okay? So let's take a peek at this. All right, so we have 0FB0 zero zero for the liver. That's correct, okay? Now we have to pick our approach. We already chose our approach, right? Our approach was open. So it's gonna be zero, so let's write zero again. Then it's going to ask us for device. There is no device. And now what is our qualifier? It's X for diagnostic because this was a diagnostic procedure. It was biopsy, right? Okay. Now if you look, we're at the same table, 0FB for the pancreas. So let's look at the pancreas. 0FBG Okay, and again, it was open, right? And there is no device, and it was diagnostic. So what are our two codes? 0FB00ZX and 0FBG0X. Easy enough. All right.